Hi. Uh, this is actually my mother a few years ago. She was a seventh grade language arts teacher in Pleasanton, California. She was overwhelmed with the amount of paperwork that she had. As a junior high teacher, she had over a thousand pieces of paperwork to grade each week. And then after grading those assignments, she had to manually enter each of those grades into her grade book. On Sunday, she'd spend about four hours doing that. On top of that, in order to judge how much her students knew about certain topics, she would take her student quizzes home at night and tally how many each student got right and wrong on a piece of paper so that she could go in the next day and reteach if they didn't understand some information. The first time she used GradeCam in her class, she logged in, she went to Forms, in forms, she clicked on that she was going to be using a 10-digit form. She was going to be doing a, a lesson today on poems in her class. So she's going to give a brief quiz at the end of it. She printed out forms before the class. Then during the class, she asked everyone, what's a narrative quiz? And one of the students immediately raised their hand and said, a narrative quiz is a quiz that tells a story. And she assumed that the class knew, and she continued on with her lesson and went through that. At the end of the quiz, she wrote seven questions on the board, on the chalkboard. And they were multiple choice questions. She took her key that she printed out before the class, and she created a new assignment. This is my new assignment in GradeCam. GradeCam just read the assignment and translated all the scores immediately into the gradebook. As the students finished their quizzes, they brought them up to the computer. And as quickly as they were placed in front of the camera, each assignment is scored. I've just scored all of those quizzes. One of the students actually had a hard time. But Greg Cam was able to read it anyways. Immediately into the, at the end of that quiz, she went to instant item analysis. And right there, she was able to see that number three, her question about what's a narrative quiz, despite someone answering that, only 33% of the class got that information right. And she was able to reteach that right in the classroom immediately when it's most relevant. Studies have consistently showed that you have about a three day period to reteach information. If your test results come back after that, it's too late to reteach that information. Then, to eliminate her paper needs, she went into her electronic gradebook. GradeCam works with any electronic gradebook. I'm using LearnBoost, it's an online gradebook. I click in the top cell. And the scores transfer instantly from GradeCam into LearnBoost. And the scores are all right there. Uh, I just showed you GradeCam Insight. We launched it in February of 2012. We currently have 270,000 students using GradeCam Insight. Uh, there's about 10,000 teachers using it. But in addition to Insight, we license our technology to many different companies. Uh, many people who, who may have been at Inspired K-12 may have seen Mastery Connect. Uh, Illuminate, Houghton Mifflin Harcourt is using it with Data Director and is soon going to be launching it to millions of their customers. We've learned many lessons developing GradeCam. Uh, one very important lesson is that administrators and teachers have different needs. When we created the product, we created it around my mother's needs, and it's a very teacher focused product. Administrators hold the purse strings. And we had to create features that interested administrators in order to get them to purchase it for the teachers. Uh, one, of the teach one of the features that administrators love is that over Scantron or other assessment solutions, GradeCam is relatively very inexpensive because it uses a web camera or a document camera, which are already in the classroom, and there's no hardware investment in order to get formative assessment results. Another feature is that administrators can issue benchmark exams. They can scan in a test in their office align it with state standards, and share it with the school. And as the teachers scan in the classroom, the administrator can see in real time how each class is performing. And through that, they can connect different teachers in order to say, this class needs to 
talk to this teacher a little bit and get some more information on number one because they're not performing so well. Lesson number two, uh, opportunities have been driven by market pressure and not classroom needs. We have about a half a million users through our integration partners. No one really jumped on board until the first person did. Because this eliminates a hardware piece in the classroom, it represents a loss of revenue for a company that's selling hardware. So once somebody did it, and now they're capturing market share, somebody else had to do it in order to be competitive. But nobody really wanted to give up that hardware sale off in the beginning. So that, that took a while for us to break that barrier and move into the market. Uh, that's great, Cam. Thank you for your time. Okay. Hey, and do we have, um, since Cyan couldn't make it today, she was feeling ill, is there a teacher? I had met a teacher earlier who had a lot of insights. There he is. Come on up. What was your name again? John. Tom? John. John, the teacher. John, uh, join us. Um, and so, um, Drew and Liz are both journalists. Uh, Drew is with the Next Web, and Liz is with All Things D. Wesley is from um, Google Ventures, uh, and Sandeep runs one of the largest mobile uh, developers in the world, uh, Extreme Labs, with over 200 developers, and they've built some of the most important apps uh, in the App Store, including one by a large social network, um, which I'm not sure if you're allowed to say. Probably not. But if you pick the largest one with the $27 stock price, you might get it right. Um, <laughs> Also, I wanted to... Did you get paid in stock or cash? Anyway. Um, oh, I'm also, and finally? Yeah, I'm also happy to announce we, we are submitting our iPad app to the Apple Store in the coming weeks. So teachers will soon be able to walk around the classroom and scan assignments with an iPad, with the test still on the student's desk, leaving no paperwork in the teacher's hands. Great. What did you guys think? Wesley? Yeah, yeah. It, was pretty, it was pretty cool. I wish I had this when I was in school. How much are you uh, charging teachers for it? Uh, it's free for individual teachers with up to 10 questions. The full version is $20 a month if they want to purchase it that way. But that entire model has really moved towards upselling to a school and district uh, purchase, which is a lot cheaper, and it saves schools about 80% off of traditional assessment solutions. Do you, do you think you're pricing it a bit too low? It's been a consideration. But our long-term strategy has been to get this tool in the hands of every student. Um, it's been really important, especially to my mother, being that she was a teacher, that this is accessible to anyone. It's a powerful tool that can save teachers time. Great. How big is the company now? Is seven. Like seven. Seven people. Mm -hmm. And you said you have half a million users. Is that teachers? Students. Students. Yes. So thousands of teachers or tens of thousands of teachers, I uh, guess? There's 10,000 teachers on Great Cam Insight. I'm going to guess about 20,000 um, using it through licensing partners. So it seems like your, your name corresponds pretty literally to what you do. Um, are there other things that you hope to do besides um, multiple choice uh, cam, you know, cam recognition visually? Uh, well, we don't want to move into handwriting recognition quite yet. It's been challenging, especially with student handwriting. Uh, but there are a lot of other things that the application works for. Anything that has a student ID bubbled on it for credit, no credit assignments, it eliminates the data entry for any type of, type of assignment not just credit, no credit. So say rubrics where teachers are giving students scores, mm -hmm. they bubble in the score, and then at the end of the week when they have that massive stack of papers, they swipe it all under the camera and it all goes in. John, you're a CTO of, explain. What I, I'm a chief information officer for Summit Public Schools, former teacher, former principal, and avid grade cam lover. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So um, you know of the product. We, yeah. we, we actually, one of the reasons we switched to our SIS is because it had grade cam uh, integrated with it. And how important is it to have the freemium model, you know, do you think, in terms of getting into schools? Like, did you have teachers coming to you saying, like, hey, you have to hear about this? You know, I, I think our teachers heard about it because they, they sort of got it as an, uh, through the SIS that we use. Um, no one had come to us looking for it on their own. I don't think they had heard about it yet at that point. Uh, but once they heard about it, it was sort of made them want to adopt everything else that was in the system because it, it was such so, so, so a strong pull in. Cindy, what do you think is next for these guys, and what do you think of the product? Well, I just had a question. What's the difference in pricing between, like, Scantron and your solution? Is it uh, yeah. A Florida teacher told me at the at last conference I went to that their school in the previous year had 1,000 students, and they spent $10,000 on Scantron forms and machine maintenance. Uh, and the next year, they spent $2,000 on GradeCam, and they had all the time savings and other things. Yeah. So about 80% savings. <laughs> yes. There's no hardware. 
So it's really cool that it's that it's super fast. Do you, do you guys like send an alert if if a student is like filled in half of a you know circle? Like it's so fast. I could see teachers going, you know, oh, or administrators at least saying, "Wow, we don't want to like screw up any." Hey, what's the error rate? Uh, extremely low. Uh, if if it has a question about it, it pops up an alert and says, right. "What do you think?" Okay. So no fault hanging chads or anything like that. No. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, how big is your market? How much do you, if you got every school using this, how much would you be making? Uh, it depends on two different models. The licensing model, um, there's 50 million students in the United States. We could be making, have annual revenues of 50 million a year, somewhere in that range. Um, Insight, our assessment product that I showed at first, does more than, it does less than what our partners do. When we license it to someone, they're providing a whole lot of the picture. Uh, Insight is our lightweight assessment solution. Depending on how many people adopt that, that's a more expensive product. Uh, we largely use it just to upsell to our licensing partners, though. So, so ballpark, if you got everybody using this, what what do you think your total revenue? Fifty million, would be? you said. Fifty million. Yeah. Annually, possibly. Right. Yeah, a Great. dollar per student or something like that. So, I guess for venture capitalists, that's nice. It's significant, but I guess they would want to hear the the billion dollar yeah. sort you, of how, vision. How What's the billion dollar vision? How do we get to one? billion dollars a year? Yeah. Uh, we build out insight to do more. Great. What does that mean? Uh, our user interface, <laughs> if, we went, if we were to decide to enter the data and assessment realm um, and compete with a lot of big companies out there, uh, our data and assessment solution could do a lot of things that create a $5 or $7 student product. Uh, that's something we haven't done right now. Like actually make the questions and that kind of stuff? or. Uh, provide a lot of the analytics that administrators are looking for in order to make larger decisions. Great, let's hear it for Graycam. Very well done. <laughs>